everyone, my name is Akra and welcome to my YouTube channel. I don't have my red GitHub Campus Expert hoodie with me right now, but believe me when I say I am, or rather was, a GitHub Campus Expert. So I'll talk you through all things GitHub Campus Expert program related in this video. I'll try to explain what the program is, the application process, the incentives, and a little bit about my Campus Expert journey. So. What exactly is GitHub Campus Expert program? Before I even cover what it is, let me cover what it is not. Just because it says GitHub Campus Expert program does not mean you have to be an expert in Git, GitHub, or open source in order to apply. Basic knowledge can help during the training process, but it is not a prerequisite for applying. So what is GitHub Campus Expert program? It is a program run by the GitHub education team to support students that are leading a technical community in their campuses. Let's picture this. You are a fresher going to university to study computer science. You hear about this thing called a hackathon happening in one of the weekends in a nearby university. You decide, might as well apply and see what this hackathon is all about. You end up going to your first hackathon, have loads of fun, eat free food, make friends, collect swag, demo your heartbroken project, and end up loving the entire process. You enjoy the process so much that you start going to hackathons almost every weekend, and then soon wonder, why doesn't my university have a hackathon society? Why doesn't my university host annual hackathons? So you decide to create a hackathon society and encourage more students to take part and learn about these events. You become a technical community leader for your university. This is where the GitHub Campus Expert program becomes one of the many ideal situations to apply. I gave this exact scenario because this is why I became a GitHub Campus Expert. I founded Hello Hackers, a hackathon society at my university. I got into GitHub Campus Expert program to help grow this particular tech community at my university. Another case could be you getting elected as a leader of an already existing tech community at your campus and then applying to the GitHub Campus Expert program to help support that particular community. As long as your aim is to grow and or support the technical community at your campus, GitHub Campus Expert program is suited for you. Now that we've covered what the GitHub Campus Expert program is and who it is for, Let's get to the application process. There are a few prerequisites to apply to the program. If you match all these prerequisites, you then go to application.github.expert, click on apply now. The application for the program opens twice in a year, once in February, so it is currently open right now, and once around August, September time for the exact application dates, the deadlines, the opening date, follow GitHub Education on Twitter. So after clicking on Apply Now, you sign in through your GitHub account and authorize campus experts to your account. You will then be taken to this application form with five sections. The first section is just basic details like your email, your country, graduation date, and your degree title. The second section is the most important. The answers to these questions will determine if your application gets accepted or rejected. So please, please, please do take the time and effort to fill this section properly. It mainly has three long answer type of questions. First question is briefly introduce yourself and your community. In this, you can mention who you are, what you're studying, why you're studying it, maybe your favorite technology or technical community you're part of and why that is. Then you can go deeper into the technical community that you want to support or you're leading, what your role is in that community, what the community is about, the size, the audience, the type of events the community hosts. This first question is basically an elevator pitch about yourself and the community that you want to support. Second question in that section is, 
why do you want to become a GitHub campus expert? Try to really take some time out to think your reasons of wanting to apply to the program. Link it back to yourself and the incentives that motivate you to apply to the GitHub campus expert program. Maybe you are keen to interact with the GitHub education staff or GitHub campus experts from all over the world. Maybe you want to join the stream team or you want to improve your leadership skills or get sponsorship for the events that you host. Each one of us has our own reasons for applying to the program. So really think about your personal reasons and write those in this section. The third and last long answer question is, how will the Campus Expert program help you support your local community better? For this question, I would suggest first think of the goals that you want to attain for your local community and then justify how joining the program could actually support you better with those goals. This again needs to be personal and please do not copy from some random community building article. One of the biggest advice I have is make your answers as personal to yourself and the community that you want to support. Don't use generic buzzwords because there are actual human beings that are going to read these answers, not some bot. So simply using fancy words will not make you get accepted. So that's the second section of the form, the most important. So please do take the time and effort to fill this section properly. Then in the third section, just check whichever apply to you. Other than the GitHub Campus Expert program, there are tons of other student programs run by other companies that you can apply for. This section can actually serve as a good list for yourself to apply to the different programs available to you. Personally, I did not join any other student program other than the GitHub Campus Expert program. So it's not like the more boxes you check, the more chance you have of getting accepted. And section four and five is just, again, just basic legal and marketing protocol questions. So answer it accordingly. And once you're content with the answers to all those five questions, especially the second section, you hit submit before the deadline. Two weeks after the application deadline closes, you will be notified about your application status. If you do get accepted, you then have to submit a five minute video resume. I'll advise you to save a copy of all the answers that you write in the second section of the form so that you can reuse some parts of it for the video. So let's say you submitted the application form, it got accepted, you submitted the video response and it got approved. You then go through the GitHub Campus Expert Training Program, which has six modules and takes up to 12 hours to complete. The module topics range from workshop development, fundraising, public speaking, and other technical and soft skill related topics. At the end of your training, you submit a community proposal which acts as a guideline as to how your student community will be run. And once your community proposal gets approved, you can officially call yourself a GitHub Campus Expert. You then get to avail the incentives that come with it, maybe update your Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn bio. So let's talk a little bit about the incentives that you get as a GitHub Campus Expert. There are quite a few, so I'll try to list whatever I can remember and the ones that I've made use of. So obviously there is the GitHub Campus Expert Swag Kit, I did an unboxing in one of the live streams, so you can check it out if you want. This is the swag kit where you get these stickers and the red hoodie and the flag and a bunch of other things. You get added to the GitHub Education Discord server where all the GitHub campus experts from around the world, the GitHub and GitHub Education staff and a few other folks are present. You get to attend monthly webinars on a variety of topics. Recently in Feb, we had a webinar on web accessibility given by the accessibility software engineer at GitHub. You get to apply for monetary and non-monetary benefits from GitHub to support your events that you're hosting. I availed this for the annual hackathons, tech workshops and this coding course by Code First Girls that I ran at my university. You also get to attend and collaborate with other GitHub Campus experts on a variety of events. I was given the opportunity to become a part of the GitHub stream team and host my own game show on GitHub Education Twitch channel. It's called What in the Tech Do I Do? I also had the opportunity to give a commencement speech at the GitHub graduation ceremony alongside Kushbu. Before the pandemic, I got to go an all expense covered trip to Berlin to attend GitHub Satellite. During the pandemic, when all the conferences became virtual, I co-hosted GitHub Universe on the GitHub Education Twitch channel with fellow campus experts and Juanpa. And most recently, I got accepted as a GitHub field expert. My purple hoodie has not arrived yet. 
hopefully soon. I'll probably make a video on that too, maybe later, I don't know. That's all the incentives that I can think of as of now. Not to mention the amazing, lovely people that I've met because of the program. I've personally had a great time being a campus expert, so I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It has not only helped me support the technical community at my university, but help me improve my interpersonal skills as a person. Everyone behind this program has good intentions of keeping this program running to help students empower themselves as well as their tech communities at their campuses. So I wish everyone wanting to apply for this program best of luck. But I do want to say, please don't get super disheartened if you don't get accepted. It is not the end of the world. You have other programs that you can apply for or you can just grow yourself and your community without this GitHub Campus Expert title. Your main aim should be to grow and support yourself and the local community at your campus with whatever opportunities are available to you. That's all I can think of for covering in this video. If you have any further questions, do comment below and I'll try to get back to you. Share this video with anyone who wants to know more about the GitHub Campus Expert program or wants to apply. Best of luck again. Keep buying!